Hey everybody, it's Chestnut. This is Yard Core 4. Um, today I am with Lucy Liu from the Crimson Cross and she is going to show me around her plot called Sanctuary. So Lucy, tell me about your plot and the inspiration for it. Like why did you go with a desert theme? Or like a beach oh, house, I, I guess. <laughs> I wanted it to be a beach house. Originally I couldn't make a fake ocean that I was happy with and so I turned it into like what I would want my own peaceful dream house to be, and it was not at the ocean, because I hate the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and I like heat and sand and deserts, so I miss. So, this house is made completely out of 2x4s, and I know it blew Tony's mind that it was completely made out of 2x4s when it, he found out about it on the 0 to 50 stream. I didn't actually get to watch that stream live, but I went back and watched it afterwards, and when I saw Moose post that, it was just awesome, because his, his eyes went all wide and stuff. And I love the 2x4s. They have that really nice, like, chocolate wood look. They do. I like how you did, like, the lattice on the front. Like, that's really cool. I wanted to do more of that, but that took up so much of the limit already. I can only imagine, because that's like... Oh, that looks like so many. <laughs> I was going to do a like storage shed over here because it was going to lead down to the bunker, which is now just hidden under the house that I don't use anymore, and it was going to lead to like a basement and stuff, but I ran out of time for the housing contest, and I still wanted to do the lattice, though, because that was going to be part of the shed, and I had that empty gap up there before, and it was awkward looking. So now it's flowers and wood. I like it. And I really, really like habanero blooms, so they're kind of everywhere. <laughs> They are a pretty flower. Alright, so is this the foyer when you first walk in? It is. One of my friends in real life has a house. His mom's house has, like, the windows here with plants and stuff in it, and I always liked that. Oh, that's a neat touch. That's so cool. It's, like, angled in. No, I use the glowing ones, though, so when it, like, turns night, they still stand out a lot. It's, except for, like, a few lamps and stuff, it's supposed to be very naturally lit, like, all the windows and things. I like the mailbox on the table. Most people have them like out by a door or down their ramp or something. It's different. I like it. It's in a pot. It's like a cute little plant. Yeah. I liked the trellises too, but I wasn't sure what to do with them at first because I wanted like an R and way up, like I guess over here you could climb them or something. And uh, it was supposed to be very R and human mixed and things. And it's in the desert and the habanero blooms go really well with that. And so I stuck them in there. And I love it. They look awesome. We have my living room here with my, my plushy gamer buddies. I love how you made a headset out of, it looks like, car tires? Yeah, a pillar, some car tires, and a, an electrical wire. Because I couldn't easily make a controller for him like I, like I could for the carrot. Because his hands are over there. So he's like, he's like the raid leader of the bunch. That's adorable. Here's a spot for whoever comes over to play. And I like how you set up the gaming system. Like, it looks like an actual gaming system and, like, guidebook and games and... Yeah. Got my FK box over here. I actually do come here and sit when I'm AFK, too. It's really funny to watch people go by. <laughs> I had it as just a sign originally, and I would, like, sit in these chairs and put it above my head, but that got really annoying to move over and over again, because I'd, like, be here, and I wouldn't actually be here, and people would talk to me when they visit, and it seemed like I was ignoring them because I was AFK, so now I have the box. It's clever. Everyone needs an AFK box. Right? And that is my kitchen. I like shelves. That's a lot of shelves. That looks like a very well-stocked pantry. Right? I, I wanted... I, in my old house I did a pantry, but I couldn't really find a good spot for it here with the windows and the oven and stuff is here. And I had this big gaping space in the middle, so now it's just like a double-sided pantry. I love how the dishes are on one side and all the food is on the other. Well, the sink's over there. They gotta be over there. <laughs> it's very true. And I like how you have a dish rack set up. I, I wanted to make, like, the the drawers opening down here and stuff, but I again, have like four decor spaces open right now. 
Maybe they'll bump the limit soon. Yeah, that's the price of the 2x4s, though. Yeah, it's totally worth it, though. Oh, yeah. They, I almost used the Exile wood floors and or the deck pieces, but they're too white and, like, worn-looking. I wanted nicer-looking wood. So is this a sandwich and chips over here? It's a grilled cheese and soda and chips. It's my favorite lunch ever. What did you use for the chips? They are the the Hoogle pictures, the little portraits, they're just upside down. Oh! That's really cool. I never would have thought of that. I wanted, like, cookies or something, but chips is the best I got, and it looks awesome. It's... I wanted to make it like this is my house, this is my personal space, and I love grilled cheese and soda, so there it is. Grilled cheese and soda is pretty awesome. On a side note of a goof, a guildy mentioned how danger prone I am in the kitchen. I have many scars on my hands, so there's med kits all over the house, too. It's a good place to have it, though, in the kitchen. You never know when you need a band-aid with a knife. <laughs> yeah, there's a knife right there. Got my sun deck out here. Some oh, the chairs and stuff. And I love the view back here. Got it would have been even better if I could, like, I want water blocks so badly, and I've seen some people do awesome stuff with the iron floors and glass and, like, upside-down hover cots and stuff, but yeah. it wasn't the ocean look I wanted still. Well, and that would require a lot of cots to try and get that glow. I bought, I, I made, like, 25 on my, on my, I almost said on my copy, on my stalker. <laughs> Got the den, I guess, sitting room over here. Uh, through that doorway is my personal study with my fishies and some plushies and things. I love the, like, pile of them. That's adorable. Spot to read over there. My desk. I almost put a computer at the desk, but I was running out of space, so I, I had to go ahead. But I, I got my little fish there. I like how the light actually shines in. I wanted to make, like I said earlier, like an an Auron and human mixed house. I've seen it, people do it better. Like, there's one really, really awesome, comfortable human house that I, I love to see every once in a while, but they've got plants everywhere. This was supposed to be more like, I don't know, like an Auron found a human house and was just redecorating it or something with the windows everywhere. I like that. That's a neat way of putting it. The heads don't really fit up there, but whatever. Yeah, they do. They're accomplishments. They fit in the den. Whatever. I had room over here and no idea what to do with it, and if I had space like that in real life, it'd be crowded with books and toys and just notes on video games and things. So that's what it became. And you can't have too many cozy spots, so... Exactly. You never know when you want to sit next. Uh, there's a little viewing spot up here, so you can, like, sit and read or something with the fruit, or you can watch a game down there or something. Yeah, it's a better view up here, almost. Right? The ladder up there goes to the guest loft, and the jump across bridges to my room. And over here we have the library, and the hookah was already and it shoots out rainbows, so it goes there. We've got my gaming table over here, and down this way is the bathroom. And also my the lattice, which is seriously my favorite part of the house. It's pretty awesome. I love how you have the uh, Carmen San Diego slash Vash slash whatever My costume. I I love that outfit. Gets questioned too many times on what exactly it is. Yeah. People never know. Is it Carmen? Is it Vash? Is it is it uh, Alucard? Is it? <laughs> it's my hybrid costume now. <laughs> I wanted, yeah, I wanted to do the lattice over in this gap here, but there was no space left, and so now it's just like a nice breezy spot for wind or whatever. It's nice. This is, I would totally want a bathroom like this in my house. We need better toilets, though. This one's horrible looking, and I, I utterly fail at making custom toilets. Yeah, it's kind of cracked and falling apart. This goes up to the second floor as well, but it's slightly harder to jump. It was more of just a decorative spot than anything. And I really wanted to use my holograms that the table came to be. 
I love that. Like, I, I've seen some of the tables used as, like, gaming tables before, but I've never seen the holograms on, like, the hologram table. I'm not exactly sure what game it would be. One of my guildies called it Star Wars Chess, so we're just going with that for now. <laughs> just remember to let the Wookiee win. <laughs> nope, got the like, guest loft up here. So they can have an awesome view and comfortable beds and a little desk for their stuff. Chests for whatever they brought if they need it. Okay, lad, this is my favorite part. The lattice is the second favorite. I like the jump across bridge. I'm and glad you spaced it far room. enough so those of us that sunk it suck at jumping puzzles don't have too hard a time. I had to test it for that because some guildies couldn't get across. <laughs> it's, uh, this bed part was built before I had the entire rest of the second floor done first, though at all. I just knew I had a window here and I wanted a spot for it and I couldn't figure out how to get to it without blocking off the hallway and things. And then I decided, why not? It's R and I'll have a bridge. So is this all of the plushies in game on your shelf? Uh, with the exception of the Gorgonoth, which is down in the living room, yes it is. That's amazing. I specifically hunted them all down for this shelf. That's amazing. I need to have a plushy shelf now. I wish I could have the Chapacabra one, but that's not actually available yet, unfortunately. I hope they put it in. I know, it's totally there in Malgrave. Yeah, got my, my closet and my dresser and my books and things. A TV, and I don't know why there's a gun, but it's, you know, it's a war. You never know. Yeah. So what made you get into housing in Wildstar? Like, did you house in other games, or? I have always wanted to, and most of the other games I tried, you had to pay a ton of actual money to get a house to uh, design or some decor pieces or anything, and it just wasn't worth it. And when I saw the trailers for this, the biggest draw that got me to play the game was the housing trailer, which I now realize was very, very inadequate in what you could do. They had, like, the spacious exile house and a carnival and people partying and stuff. And then at level 14, when I was still back in Warbringer, I went and there was some guy who was just like giving tours of houses and stuff when I went and saw and it completely just blew my mind and I wanted to build so badly. And that's why I never have any money, by the way. I'm always building. <laughs> <laughs> so for someone that's new to building or sucks at building like me, do you have any tips or tricks for like anything? Uh, my biggest suggestion would just be random house browsing, because that's like one of the best things I see people do, is they have an idea, but they're not sure how to do it, so they just go to the public thing and randomly look at houses, they see ideas, people have things that are similar, things that they can tweak and make their own, or just to give them a better ex like idea of the items you can use to do things. Moose made a teapot out of things that I didn't know you could make things out of. Yeah, he's got some pretty awesome ideas. Like, I thought I had seen, like, even if you... You don't even have to visit the big impressive houses either. You can find a whole bunch of people who don't publicly talk about their houses out in the public list and things, and they've still got some really cool things. We found Optimus once, we found Megatron, we found plushy parties, we found a plushy orgy once. <laughs> I hear there's an at at as well, so That there is. It's super awesome. Like I'm not that big into Star Wars and I was still blown away by it. It's got I can't I think they said it was a TIE fighter on the inside of it and stuff. There is just all sorts of things. But no, never never be discouraged if you think you suck. You probably don't. You just haven't realized how to do what you want to do yet. That's pretty good advice. I'm a horrible planner. I had a base image for this house, and it's nothing like I thought it would be. So don't, tr don't just force yourself to stick to plans. Be flexible, I guess. The last part on the Orin ish nature thing would be is I have solar panels on the roof so it's all like naturally powered. Oh that's so cool. Oh, 
I stink at jumping and I think I got hit with guild lag. <laughs> I always wanted to use those protostar solar generators because they have that really bl pretty blue wave out for them, but it felt weird just on top of my house by that, so it's got Cassian floor panels up here to act like the solar panels. That's a really cool idea. There's the meditation spot. And I like my red crystal, so that's the only thing I did over there was I plopped that over there in the water. Oh, I thought that was part of it. No, that's a... a What's its name again? The Red Elden Power Crystal over there. That is so cool. It fits in, like, perfectly. And then there's like, well, it's a, it's a joke on my guilty, I used to be Lucy Fur, so I'm super evil and stuff, and that's where I meditate to get my evil powers at. <laughs> and then there's the hot spring over here with some towels and candles and books and things to relax. Oh, and the plushie. Gotta have the plushies. I really do wish we had more water things like this. Yeah. I got excited when I saw the prospector's plot, because it has that little stream, but it's a challenge plug, so I can't build on it. Yeah. Well, so if people want to contact you, how should they go about it? Um, there's here in game as Lucy Lou, or there's most likely more on Twitter because that dings my phone every single time, which would just be at Stormyzors. And I'll try and get back as soon as I can. And since it dings my phone, that should be pretty fast. <laughs> Awesome, thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing your plot because this is gorgeous. Thank you for coming. Oh, cool. I'm sorry I'm a crappy tour guide, but you know, I am I get all proud of my house and things and then people come over and I shut up and I'm gonna like sit in my corner over here and let you just wander around. <laughs> <laughs> Not a crappy tour guide at all. So I hope more people come by and, and view your house, and I hope they expand the limit so you can do some more cool things with it. <laughs> and one day, hopefully, we'll all have water, and housing will be like a thousand times better. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the water. <laughs> we all are. But yes, thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Totally.